Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, the earth, the moon, and the sun, and the relationship we have with each other. Okay? Now according to the Big Bang Theory, um, gravity shaped our solar system, gravity shaped the planets by pulling things together, and um, it shaped the galaxies. So gravity is the source of all of this coming together and making things work. There are a few things that I'm going to share with you that are just mind-blowing to me. Um, one of the prevailing theories of how we got our moon was that a long time ago when the earth was still, still molten, it wasn't completely solidified yet, something came flying through space, hit earth, knocked a chunk off, and then this chunk ended up orbiting the Earth. Now the interesting thing about it is that the moon turns on its axis once every 27 days roughly and it also goes around Earth once every 27 days roughly. The result of that is that all we ever see is the front of the moon. It goes like that around us. Okay. Now, another thing that's just amazing to me is that the Earth, it would take 109 Earths side by side. The diameter of the Earth is 109 times the, or the diameter of the Sun. In other words, if the Sun was this big, the Earth would be the size of this baby. I, I will show you what that, how I figured that out. So I found a piece of wood with a groove in it and I lined up 109 BBs and it came out to 18.75 inches. Okay, now, so the size of the sun compared to the earth, right? Now picture yourself, yeah, just open your mind up and just think about this. Let's say you're living on this little BB here and this sun is 90, well, it, it, in scale, this would be 50 yards away. So let's go back to the real thing. If we're standing on Earth, the sun is 93 million miles away. 93, 94, varies a little bit. Um, the sun, um, or the distance from the Earth to the moon is only around 235,000, give or take a little bit. 233, 238, I've seen different numbers. And yet, you can look this up online. I didn't want to show any pictures because I don't want to violate anybody's copyright pictures. You can look this up online. Google um, full solar eclipse. Now, when you see those pictures, you'll see that the, in the sky, the sun and moon are exactly the same size. Okay, so that moon is one-fourth the diameter of, this, of the Earth and 230,000 miles away. The sun is 109, 109 times the diameter of Earth and 93 million miles away. And yet in the, in the sky, they appear exactly the same size. Okay? Now, when I look at this, when I look at this, the fact that this chunk of Earth was knocked off and it's exactly the same size in the sky as the Sun. On the eclipse and that it always keeps its one surface towards us, right? When I see that, I gotta be honest, say I see design. I don't see collisions and accidents and big bangs and all of that other stuff. I see design. Maybe I'm wrong. I want you to do the research and I want you to think for yourself. Look at the other things too, like the tilt of the earth at 23 and a half degrees and our distance from the sun. If we were any closer, it'd be too hot for life. If we were any further away, it'd be too close. When I see all of these things, um, I, I, think, I think it's uh, God, God's creation and it's beautiful, okay? So that's my two cents on this. Um, this is an amazing creation in my view. And God is good.